is a quick video to show how to use the Helix to send MIDI clock to the Beat Buddy and vice versa, how the Beat Buddy can send MIDI clock to the Helix. Random plug for the Mission 529i. No, they don't pay me to do that, but if they would, I wouldn't turn them down. So the first thing you're gonna do is you don't have to set up any MIDI commands on these uh, foot switches. So go over here to your menu, go to global settings. I already got it set up on MIDI because I was messing with this a little bit ago. Um, you got these two blocks here, okay? Receive MIDI clock and send MIDI clock. And right now how I have it configured is the MIDI out from Helix is going into the MIDI in of the Beat Buddy. This is at 100 beats per minute, and this is at 120 beats per minute. So if I set this to send MIDI clock, you'll see for some reason it already starts the beat buddy, but now this is 120 beats per minute. Now, if you want to do it the other way, the first thing you have to do is swap the cables around. So the MIDI out from this is going to the MIDI in of the Helix. So this is sending on MIDI channel one. This is receiving on MIDI channel one. And once you turn this, this is at 148, this is at 120. Just turn this to auto. Now it has been changed to being controlled externally. So now the tempos match. So it's not going to tell you what the BPM is on here. However, they're going to match like that. And once you start to slow this down, now they're caught back up together. So that's how you send MIDI from the Beat Buddy to the Helix, MIDI clock from the Beat Buddy to the Helix and from the Helix to the Beat Buddy. Again, random plug for the 529i.